Hi parents, I'm Pastor Danielle and I'm here with my friend and colleague, Pastor Isaac Kim, and we are excited to be bringing you our Home Connection video for the month of October. It's hard to believe that it's already October and this year is almost wrapping up, but we're beginning a new quarter and that means um, that we're gonna be beginning a whole new uh, month, uh, several months, um, but a whole new month, uh, and this month of October is on integrity. And so we are excited to be um, introducing this, this lesson, and we know that it will be a blessing for you and your kids. Integrity is kind of hard to explain, and integrity can be easily defined for your kids as being honest and fair and reliable. We see this as an example um, in the scriptures of, of people, and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But if you want to try to define integrity for your kids, you can define it as being honest, reliable, and fair. And uh, try to put it in practical terms for your kids. And there's a practical way that we can do that. Do you wanna go into that? Sure. So Pastor Danielle, at our church, we use an illustration, and we just simply call it pitch your cup, saucer, plate. And we, derive it from John chapter 15, abiding with God. And we, we use a pitcher to represent God. And this cup represents us. And we choose to live in constant communion with God, allowing him to fill us with his love. And eventually God's love will overflow out of us into the saucer, which represents our close family and our friends. And furthermore, as we go out and we continue to live in that type of community, we begin to influence our world around us with God's love. And I think this is a great illustration for integrity as well, because integrity is not something that we have on our own. Mm -hmm. right? As we spend God. time with God in relationship with Him, we live integrity, a life of integrity out of the overflow of God in our lives. So I thought it would be a great illustration for us to talk to our kids about. That's right. You can use this illustration with your kids to talk about how God fills us up and we then make an impact in the world around us with, uh, with that filling that God does in our lives. You know, there's some people, amazing people in the Bible um, to illustrate this and Enoch is one of them. The Bible says that he lived faithfully and eventually was taken up uh, to be with God. Um, Noah uh, is an, another incredible um, example for us. Daniel. Uh, dare to be a Daniel, you know? Daniel is such a, uh, an amazing example for us and how we should live and be faithful. And, um, you know, his courage, his bravery didn't come from himself. It came from, it came from God, from that connection that he had with the Father. And uh, Job, you know, Job went through so many things. And the reason he was able to, to bear it all was because he had such a close connection with his God. And Joseph also had a... Um, had some difficult moments where integrity almost didn't seem worth it. He wasn't rewarded for his integrity, but eventually um, God redeemed him from his circumstances and, uh, and we see that integrity really does pay off. So these are examples that um, we hope that your children will be inspired by to uh, live lives of integrity. Absolutely. And we want to direct your attention to our website at growingtogether.church where you can download your home connection sheet that we've been talking about. And each sheet, there's one sheet for each week that will review the lesson, also give you Bible passages that you can read together with your family, um, some highlights on maybe some prayers that you can share together, and then some activities that you can do with your children. And every week you can download one of these. And on the back side of it, it tells you what each of the different age groups in your family are studying for the week. So whether you're a beginner in the preschool age or kinder first, primary and juniors uh, for our elementary school age, teen life for our junior high and high school, and then discipler for our parents. It gives you a nice, clean photo, photo shot of what they're studying for that one week. So I encourage you to go to our website and download that as a wonderful resource for you. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next month in November as we'll do another one of these Home Connection videos. But until then, God bless you.